Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to study physics paper one, floating and sinking, a topic in form four physics, number 14, part A. State Archimedes principle. So the Archimedes principle states that uh, when a body, let me write it, when a body is wholly or partly immersed in a fluid in a fluid it experiences an uprust it experiences an uprust equal to the weight equal to the weight of the fluid displaced it experiences an uptrust equal to the weight of the fluid displaced it's very good to know that uh, a student is supposed to stick to the word fluid and not a liquid not water because uh, even though liquids are fluids and water is also a fluid being a liquid the law is obeyed regardless of the type of fluid whether a gas whether a liquid whether water or another liquid this law must be obeyed and so we stick to the term fluid let students not confuse fluids with liquids now in the application of the principle, we're going to handle a question here. In an experiment to determine the density of a liquid, a uniform metal cylinder of cross-sectional area six square centimeters and length four centimeters was hung from a spring, a spring balance that is, and lowered gradually into the liquid as shown below. So we got the diagram here, there's a spring balance, there's a metal cylinder being submerged or lowered into the liquid gradually. The question says, the uptrust was calculated from the spring balance and it was found to be 0 0.6 newtons when the cylinder was fully submerged. So to calculate this uptrust, just on a nutshell, that means, uh, first of all, for the metal cylinder, the real weight had been obtained, the weight in air. Then when fully immersed, now the apparent weight, that is the new reading on the spring balance, was also determined. That is called the, the apparent weight. Now, the difference between the real weight of a substance and the apparent weight when it has been immersed in a fluid gives the uptrust in the particular fluid so for our case here the uptrust was found to be 0 0.6 newtons part one we are taught to determine volume of the metal cylinder volume of the metal cylinder remember we are already given some dimensions so it's us now to continue we are told that uh, the cross-sectional area is six square centimeters and the length four centimeters. So cross-sectional area multiplied by the length will always give volume for a cylinder. Cross-sectional area times length. And so we need to take a cross-sectional area, which is a six. We multiply by a length of four. And this is exactly giving us 24. This is cubic centimeters. This can also be converted to SI units, whereby we need to say that uh, cubic centimeters to be converted to cubic meters, we divide by a million. And so when this is divided by million, then we're going to get 24 times 10 power negative 6 cubic meters or 2.4 times 10 
power negative 5 cubic meters in standard form. So that is the volume of the metal cylinder in SI units. There is part 2 of the same. We are still determining the density of the liquid. Something we are supposed to understand is that uh, when uh, an object is submerged in a fluid, it displaces a volume of the fluid which is equal to the volume of the solid being submerged. And so, being given or having calculated the volume of the metal cylinder, then volume of the liquid displaced is also the same as the volume of the metal cylinder. So, volume of the liquid is known. Volume of liquid is known. We just lift it from up there. This is specifically liquid displaced. The value is 2.4 times 10 power negative 5 cubic meters. Something else we know is that uh, according to the Archimedes principle, a body experiences a thrust equal to the weight of the fluid displaced, which means when this object has been immersed in the liquid, it's going to experience a thrust, which has already been recorded, and this a thrust equals to the weight of the liquid which gets displaced. So for this liquid, we got volume displaced and also weight which is uh, corresponding to the displaced volume. Therefore, we say weight of displaced liquid or liquid displaced is going to be the uprust experienced, 0 0.6 newtons. And so we can get the mass knowing that a uh, mass of the uh, let me write it in full mass of displaced liquid mass of displaced liquid is equivalent to you know we say that a uh, weight is equal to mass times gravity this is to mean that mass is given by weight out of gravity sorry not density gravity so to this effect we can say that uh, the weight above divided by 10 which is the approximated value of gravity on the earth's surface then we're going to get 0 0.06 kilograms of liquid and with the with the volume of displaced liquid and now mass for the displaced liquid, then we can obtain its density. Density is usually calculated by mass out of volume. So a mass of 0 0.06 and a volume of 2.4 times 10 power negative 5. When this is computed, we get exactly 2,000 500 kilograms per meter cubed. This is the density of such a liquid in its SI units. And finally, there is a mass of the liquid displaced. Remember, mass of the liquid displaced has already been obtained here. Mass of the liquid displaced. So, mass of the liquid displaced, I just need to transfer the value to this point. But a student is supposed to show that a uh, mass has been obtained when weight has been divided by gravity, 0 0.6 divided by 10 to give us 0 0.06 kilograms. So this is again mass in SI units for the liquid which was displaced by the cylinder. Thank you so much for following. Remember to subscribe to this channel and to share the link with your friends.